pasta doble. Ooh. I've never done pasta doble, and I don't know much about it. I'm a little freaked out, but I'm very excited. <laughs> Both of them, you know, never do pasta, so it's quite, you know, a big challenge for us. The pasta doble seems very yes. aggressive, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's yeah. very strong. Okay. It's very powerful. <sighs> It's crazy. That's what it is. Okay, I feel like they're panicking just a little bit. When you dance pasta doble, it's about posture. Francis keeps saying, like, pee pee forward, like, put your pelvis forward. It's pee pee forward. So you just, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, sorry. And what? Ta, yeah. Oh, I get right close to Jarrah's crotch. I'm right there. Ha! <laughs> Okay. Sorry, Mom and Dad, for that one. Don't forget, PP4. Passo! So she's contemporary ballet and he's B boy ballet. Talk about being completely out of your genre. Here with the Paso Double are Kirsten and Jera. Jera, you saved her there. That was amazing. Good job. Thank you. Mia. That was close, right? Yeah. Wow. Um, okay. The aesthetic of this piece was, was really great. I loved the whole beginning. I loved that whole painting situation going up there. Um, Jera, there's a whole lot, a lot of face going on. Okay, so we need to take that down a notch, okay, because it gets too much. And for me, it's like the strength of the dance wasn't there for me as much as I would have liked it because aesthetically, the, the wardrobe and everything about it, the whole concept, was solid. But both of you needed to take up the strength and passion and hot spot, like, up about 25 notches. I did not hate it. In fact, I, I liked it immensely, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Did that make sense, Lisa? It did. It did make sense. <laughs> Let's see. What did I think? Um, I think that was like rough sex. Oh. Thank you very much, Francis and Natalie. Okay. But um, 